Hello and welcome to an all new Geek Roll Order video. Randy here and today we have another toy review on deck. We're going vintage here all the way back to the 1990s. This is Transformers Generation 2 Cyberjet Space Case. Uh, he is a smaller scale Transformer in the G2 line. Uh, one of the original molds and characters that they came up with. <clears throat> and this guy's got some 90s action features to him. He's got some missiles, an insane paint scheme. And overall a nice jet mode, an interesting transformation. Uh, but let's take a look at him here. So he does have this uh, primarily white jet with this, like a black and blue scale pattern. Uh, the jet mode reminds me of the Conquest jet from G.I. Joe. And I'm going to turn the figure here just so we get a little bit better view. Because just look at that pattern on it. Like, like although that, the head on this bird kind of reminds me of Laserbeak. So this is just a really cool jet. And he's got some, you can see he's a little loose from age. Um, under here, fairly compact mode. Um... Yeah, they're, the, the pegs are a little messed up. So he's got these landing gears that go up and down. You can pull them by, there's a little tab. He's got his launcher here. His landing gear. Got a very nice translucent yellow cockpit. And I believe, looking at it, I think there is a pilot seat in there. It is a little hard to tell. But there is some decent detail in the figure. In the jet mode, really. This is a nice jet mode. Uh, he has these missiles that you can just kind of clip under his wings and store them. But they come off. Um, you can also put one in the blaster. Basically just <clears throat> kind of pressure locks around that. Just that little ball right there. So... Transformation-wise, he's fairly simple. So, if he still, if you, although take a look at the back there, some nice little thrusters, a very nice looking jet. Basically, you just untab his feet, turn those, straighten out his legs. This whole part is going to come down. So that part swings here. You're going to straighten his legs out here. This whole part literally just rotates. And you might have to adjust it a little. The arms are just going to flip out like that. And you're going to rotate his arms out like that. Same thing there with the one on the blast, with the blaster on it. And this whole thing just kind of accordions down. As you can see, it's going to go all the way back there. And he does have some tabs that are going to go locked into place right there. So there is Space Case in his robot mode. And so let's take a look at the head sculpt. It's a nice head sculpt. Um, he does have the light piping in the back there. So when you get him on a good light source, it's kind of easy to see that face there. Um, Articulation-wise, he is a 90s figure, so he's ball joint city, man. You can do all sorts of dynamic poses, all sorts of cool. Um, you can go full pretty high up on a kick, actually. Um, now, this part does provide a little interference, so you're not going to get great backwards on the leg, so just be aware of that. Um, so yeah, so with the missiles, I think he can hold them. And it is hard to do some of this stuff on camera. Okay, yes, so it does go in there. So he can hold the missile as like a club. He's got his gun, and just kind of the way it looks, it can be like a claw weapon. Or you can have the missile in there. It's usually how I store it. But 
overall, this is not a bad figure. And, oh wait. Um, so I know some of the G2 Cyberjets, you can kind of work it. It's a little off. It, it is definitely a very awkward thing. Um, but, mm, it is not the best. But you can, um, you can kind of create a Robotech, uh, Veritech fighter mode. This one does not do it the best. I will say that. Um, it, there's enough there that you can pretend, but his arms are kind of a little far back. So I'm not going to say he's the strongest contender. But I think of G2 characters, of the Cyberjets, I only have the two. I have Space Case and Hooligan. Um, overall, this one is fine. He's just going to be... I think he's just going to be a standard figure. But overall, like, 90 Transformers do have their strengths. Like I said, Ball Joint City. They loved making the articulation with the ball joints. And honestly, it was great for his time. Because you can do so much with it. And honestly, just look at it. He really does fold up. You know, being a jet transformer, he's got a good chunk of his plane in the as part of his back. But, I mean, just, just look how pretty that is, though. Like, that pattern. Kind of that. I feel no it's the molded detail I was like for a second I'm like no it doesn't have a texture it's just molded detail back there but yeah you can see the jet detail but like the the wings are really nice like overall I think this is a fun figure I enjoy it it's a smaller g2 character and the characters they came up with in G2 were pretty interesting. So, overall, I think this is a fun figure. I had a lot of fun playing this figure as a kid. So, that's just a quick trip down Nostalgia Road. Vintage G2 Transformer. So, that'll do it for this video, guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, everything. Please follow me on social media. If there's a social media outlet... You can find it at Geek World Order. Check out geekworldorder.com. But that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the love and support, and I will see you all in the next one.